What's up, everybody? And welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. And it's another installment of The Bald and, and the, the Beautiful. beautiful. You already know who's here. We got Mr. Kev on stage, Mrs. Kev on stage, That Chick Angel. And Marcus ain't on the ground, but he sure is eating a lot. 45 minutes. That's how long I've been sitting here trying to eat. Tank, been hungry, y'all. I, I was been hungry, hungry too. when we left the house. You wasn't hungry enough. I've been Did hungry, but I've been working. Did I post a brand deal? No, I just posted that I was in the LA Times. Mm. I did post a brand deal earlier today, and I do need to post the uh, amplification, so thank you for reminding me, <laughs> praise God. So today, uh, since the Fredericks just celebrated 17 years, and if you oh, haven't caught- it's official. It's official, y'all 17. Hey, Amen. And Melissa uh, preached everybody's life with her 17 lessons <laughs> of uh, marriage. And Marcus and I are on our way to celebrating 14 in a couple of days. We decided to talk about some of our favorite moments of being married. Um, uh, most people know that marriage can be great. And then obviously there are parts of marriages that are not so great. But we are in the mood for being in love. Positive vibes only. Positive vibes only. That so, um... We gonna talk about you know what 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 is one of your favorite memories? Cause y'all been making a lot of memories here lately. Being married folk, pictures on the beach with tailored suits and dresses showing off your booty. <laughs> Come on, wave! I didn't know what had more waves, the ocean or Melissa's hair. But I was like, I was here for all booty. of it. It was booty meat out. All of it. It had some Beyonce, uh, bigger. That's I was like, oh my god. That like, was that, a dope. I, even if I wasn't in that, I would have. I would have liked that. I was like, man, these couple was great. <laughs> he got his toes out in the in the sand. That first of all, that water was freezing. Of course, mm -hmm. the Pacific is trash. It got my the bottom of my pants wet. Oh, your new pants. Wet fabric. Yes, I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> uh, I got sand all in my I don't my patent leathers. And you know, your patent leathers. I don't like the beach for that reason. You know, beach is kind of overrated. Very. Very. Well, listen, I don't care what you I'm say. I'm that dude with Timberlands on the beach. <laughs> Melissa was over there frolicking, looking like an angel. Just, I yes. All the things. She it got her great. dress the, the moment before, and it <laughs> fit perfectly. <laughs> it was God's you grace. It. You, you, uh, it, was, it was God's grace. God's grace is what I want. God's so, is what, what is one of y'all's Condemnation-free sex is really what I like. Hey. Mm. You know, the Bible says there is therefore no condemnation. Uh -huh. Talk about it, kid. I love to be free. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to be a man. You can say, I like a little mm -hmm. Get in there and touch mm -hmm. It don't make me on mind. It's not like you're saying gooch. Perennium. I'm saying gooch. Say? Oh, you are saying gooch? The gooch? So, guy gooch. 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 Perennium. Yeah. Mm. Little balls to butt. That little the 50 yard line right between you them. Call it the tank. Tank. Tank yeah, yeah. the balls. Tank the Tank. That little, that little yeah. strip of goodness. Yeah. Take them nails and stroke it. And just softly. Yeah. Ever so. You gotta, you gotta like, do just like you saying, come here. Look, there, like, ain't, there ain't nothing in this world that make me toot my butt up. When I feel like, <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Get on in there, Toot it and boot it. Imagine hey. six four Marcus tainted with his, his butt tooted. Touch that thing. So I didn't. When I started this off, I didn't expect that's where we was gonna go so quickly. No, I didn't either. Touch that tank. There you go. Taints riders. <laughs> Well, no. I'm still a man. I'm trying to fight it out. You're still a man. Some, you're somewhere, girl. Hold you still on. got them guns? Yeah. You still got the liquor cabinet? Still. Liquor. Still oh, got man. it. Straight liquor. It don't change nothing about you. <laughs> no. One, actually, one thing that I really enjoy is uh, very old inside jokes. Mm. Mm. Melissa and I have 21 years of inside jokes. Some dating back to high school. Mm -hmm. And looking at each other and being like, this thing. Mm -hmm. And getting it. I mean, it's just, it's to die for. It's to die for. I love to be able to look at her. Oh, he looked like this. She looked like that. Remember we did this thing? Remember in college? Mm-hmm. It's a great um, benefit of the long-term marriage. It's a thing I, uh, it's a thing I didn't know I would appreciate so much. Yeah. Because, you know, inside jokes, they just come here and there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's a memory yeah. from here. It's a memory from there. It's, uh, I don't know, church college, whatever the thing is. Yeah. But I, I, I truly, truly uh, enjoy that. I don't think, you know, God forbid anything happens to Melissa and I, I would, I would be so sad mm -hmm. to like, 
You know, like I met Melissa's younger sister Mel. She was twelve years old. That's right. That woman oh, is wow. thirty four. Mm. Thirty four. That's a lot. And you don't really you don't remember much before what six, five or six. Mm -hmm. So that's that's almost all Mel's life. Substantial. You got all of her memories. Yeah. I mean, she used to be a ch Isaiah is what turning fifteen in a couple months. Mm -hmm. Joe is turning thirteen. Like that's how young Mel was. Wow. And she's 34 going on two children and six years of her own marriage. So that sort of deep bond is, is the thing I enjoy the most. What about but you? Oh, go ahead. Perineum play also. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Melissa? Um, I would say that some of my favorite memories include uh, those moments where you feel like, dang, we're really doing it. Like the first time we went on a cruise. Mm. Boy, we we felt like you man, we're out here. Like we really <laughs> let me we tell really you how dark it. that room was. You yeah. closed the door. <laughs> we literally were like, "Listen, you can't even see." <laughs> there was no light even under the door. Remember this? <laughs> Luckily, it was three steps to the bed, and our room was over. <laughs> <laughs> but we were so happy we were. to be an interior state room, in the middle of the middle. <laughs> Y'all, is this your room or a closet? Just anyway, just care. lay down in there. My parents had never gone on a cruise. Mm -mm. No one we knew had gone on a cruise, so that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of another really great. Oh, when we both started working at Boeing, and first of all, Miss Sleepy on stage is hilarious. I'm tired. <laughs> Y'all got a man, I'm listen. So Melissa and I, his day They're started. They're actually tired or. Yes. Tired. Yeah. Yeah. I am yeah. delirious. Oh, yeah. We I've started our day in Arizona it. at like 5 o'clock this morning. Flew in. Me and Angel went and shot. I think Arizona time is our time. It did, but it was 5 o'clock in the morning was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> plus the flight. Plus, me and Angel was on set from basically 11 to 5. Mm -hmm. Then we had to go home, shower, change, come right back. Melissa been working like... Melissa was shooting brandos over the weekend. It's just... It's been like three weeks of nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. The thing I don't like about entrepreneurship, and we'll get right back to this, podcasting is great. The biggest drawback, if you don't take time off from your ads, to go on a two-week vacation, it takes a doggone month of preparation. Of shooting extra to make sure all these podcasts get shot. Six weeks, so you're not stressed. It takes time. So yeah. we are out here, and I threw my back out, so I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump in, but that's why Liz is sleepy. But did we leave you nor forsake you? No, we didn't. Are we giving you the best that we got? Mm-mm. No, but we're giving you what we do have. We're giving you all we have. <laughs> it ain't the best. You know, it's, this is the serious game four. We might yeah. give this away and get yeah. blown it's, out. It's the fumes. It's still it's, combustible. It's, the fumes are still combustible. <laughs> all right? This is the day before payday show. It's just, hey, man, yeah. we just, we're going to eat a little bit of bread and some noodle water. Yeah. We're going to make it through the bar. <laughs> Coach, I'm here. All right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the finals. We were getting blown out today. We'll be back from game five. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is the game you know was over the first quarter. Hey, it's 33 to 6. Yeah, we're probably yeah. just going to, nobody get you know hurt. What? Let's just get Put out. Put the rookies in. <laughs> Keep everybody safe. We got to live to fight another day today. Yeah. Um, uh, husband, hmm. what's one of your favorite List and memories? Finish. No, we jumped all over. Yeah, sorry. we did. Because no, she was I, I, on stage. Just, The last thing I was going to say angel? is when. <laughs> You can eat. I know. <laughs> He's like, let her talk. Let her take her time. She's Liz, tired. I had your back. Uh, I know. Um, oh, dang. Yeah. Oh, I remember. When we uh, first started at Boeing, and it was the first time we made over $100,000 as a household. Oh, yeah. And Couldn't tell us nothing. He literally couldn't tell us anything oh, yeah. ever oh. in life. There were oh. no words that could be spoken. We made over hundred grand. Mm -hmm. We could, well, Melissa actually worked at her job. Uh -huh. We we could IM each other. Oh, I love the job. Our kids, we never really did though. Melissa actually worked. Oh, the at boys work. were in private school. Our kids were in private school. Ooh, the teacher. I was, was wealthy. There was like you seven kids in Isaiah. <laughs> you could tell me I wasn't. Wealthy. What was he in first grade? Isaiah. Isaiah was in first. Joe was in pre-K. Both of them. There was about seven kids in there. Not in surprised. That class. They had iPads. The teacher used That's to pray for them she did. with seven oil. Kids? Seven kids in a like a thirty kid classroom. It wasn't that even that big, but yeah. It was seven children in there. It was a little Christian school. A little Christian school. I can't remember the name they of it. Yeah, prayed over Concordia. with oil. Concordia Lutheran School. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was a Lutheran school praying mm -hmm. with oil. This white teacher, she didn't believe in uh, starting homework. over there without praying. She didn't believe in no homework. Mm -hmm. She said, "Why do you use oil too?" <laughs> yes, oil. tank. On the way out, I was today. The this second, years old. Listen, there's some white Pentecostals that get down just like the black people. 
my stepfather, the way my mother met him, the, the white one. <laughs> Brother Ron? Yes, because he went to our church. Ah. He was a white, shouting, speaking different. in tongues, white dude. Yeah. Going to the church. UPC, they get down. But just doing it on their own, that's a little, come on now. <laughs> they do it. They do it. No, so when y'all were time. making it. Oh, yeah. We were making it. We were, Boeing was giving us uh we had really good bonuses at the mm -hmm. end of like Christmas, and Boeing Valentine's gave day. you a uh, oh, Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Boeing gave you uh, like a little bit before Christmas to New Year off, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. addition to your two weeks. Mm -hmm. So it was like a super. Um, That's always the best. Oh yeah. man, oh, it was man. like a super uh, the giving company. The aerospace industry generally shuts down around that time of year anyway. Yeah, man. That was fantastic. They gave us that last bonus, and we show sure quit as soon as that check came in. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> That's why, that's how I remember it was uh, Valentine's Day, because we left We quit March. the next pay period. Yeah. Yeah, the bonuses are in? All right. We got one more period. You know what? Give me a check for the rest of that vacation I didn't take, dude. Oh. Might as well. I cast that yeah, for 1K out. I, I would save up vacation, take a little bit of Christmas, it. between Christmas and New Year's, take that off, roll over some time, and let that build up. Melissa, in our 20-year history, I don't think she's called in to sit I've work. called into sick. I've called into sick. I've called in sick, uh, t quite literally two times in twenty-one years. When Isaiah was born and when Bro. Joe was born. Mind you, she worked the day well, she went maternity into maternity leave. They ain't calling in sick. You weren't hey, sick. <laughs> Melissa called me from the bank. Matter of fact, I think a coworker called me. I don't know. Melissa was opening an account. Yes. Yeah. Opening a, an account. I was going into labor. Trying to finish with I the did customer. Open that account. Then Drew, Drew, Drew come on, finish the customer. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Mm -hmm. That's a hell of a Then employee. drove herself to the hospital. Wow. In labor. She said, that ain't calling on sick list. You went to work. I'm just that saying day. those were the times. No, I mean, no, but the next sick... day I was not there. You had a child. I know. I'm just saying that that would be. You were hiding a child. Sick. Let that boy come home. <laughs> I call Most it. people take off the two weeks before they uh, do. Marcus, well, you know I what? Know. I work. <laughs> Let me be pregnant. <laughs> this is my sixth month. I'm off. Bed rest. Your doctor said it. No, I'm in the bed resting. <laughs> I ain't never had no sick leave accumulated. Oh. I use all my sick leave. I got to the point where they're like, you know, if you take more time off, you're not getting paid. I don't need it. I'm on the road. I can pay from I've never had a job where I've had sick leave. So I don't even know what that's like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, you got to ask. Huh? <laughs> or, no. You never had to ask for no time off? No. Dang. Never. I've never. When you was on ER, you you just went? Yeah, listen, you I don't care if I would have been bleeding from my face. I'm not about to let y'all cast somebody else in my place. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm showing up. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, Marcus. Oh, first of all, just in case uh, somebody reminded me, we, me and Marcus are eating hibachi from oh, Benihana. This is a mukbang, ain't it? And then Kevin and Melissa, they had lasagna, so now they're just having their dessert, yeah. which is strawberry milkshake. They're very good. They are good. Angel ate the salmon, too. I was hoping you would. The salmon is right here, and I'm hot. We had you the same amount of food. It. You deserve it. I just... Okay, Marcus, what's the favorite, what's your favorite thing? About or oh, what's one of your favorite memories? I should say, being married to this glorious woman beside you. Palm Springs anniversary. Mm -hmm. Angel had on a white dress. Oh my God! That looked like a dry fit T-shirt torn <laughs> into a dress. <laughs> she stepped out with that thing on, and I'm talking about it was instant. You tell going down right now. <laughs> We was already sore because we had been going at it every day, multiple times a day. Going at it? Oh, ridiculously. We're going at it? Let me tell you what happened in Palm Springs. Okay. We went in one room. When we got there, it was hot. You know, it was like 107. It was a house. We rented a house. 107 at night. Yeah, it'd be hot. AC went out. There was like, well, we got two others. It was like, all right, we'll go to them. Well... We won't go with you. Here's the keys. You can just go check Talking them out. Talking about our mother, mothers who were with us because we just had little Marcus. So we yeah. needed somebody to watch him. So so we go in to look at the houses. We already decided we weren't going to stay in one because it had like a lot of stone. And we was like, all right, little Marcus, he'll hurt himself on that stone. Mm -hmm. but before we leave up out of here, <laughs> let's go ahead 
and uh, baptize this establishment. Well, you got to, you oh, got to yeah. sanctify it. Oh, on the fireplace? You the got stone? to sanctify it. Come on. Come on. Marcus will hurt himself. We'll be fine. Next house. <laughs> <laughs> Next house. Let's look at this. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. It's got multiple rooms, AC work, carpet. Cool. And then they called us and be like, well, we fixed the other one. We're not leaving. <laughs> that one's dirty. You need to go clean it. <laughs> ah, that was dirty. The white dress was after all that. <laughs> I was like, ho, it's going to be a long night. Ho? Ho, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> okay, that dress was this thin. No, Marcus, his beard was black before Man, y'all started. it was all the way black. <laughs> we went down, they said, boy, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> beard was stiff. <laughs> it was like, uh, what's your name? Uh, J- is it Jermaine Jackson when he showed up with that porcelain wig on? <laughs> boy, it was something ridiculous. Oh, we so did. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't Oh, that was a memory. That was a memory. (laughs) And you know what? We're going to go to our first and only sponsor of today's podcast. Hello, Fresh. Let me tell you what was good in the flesh. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, Fresh. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Marcus, you are funny. Hello Fresh cuts the stressful meal planning mm-hmm. and grocery store trips so you can oh. enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in just 30 minutes or less. Try Hello Fresh quick and easy meals, 15 to 20 minute dinners, breakfast on the go and more easy options perfect for your busy lifestyle. Hello Fresh offers 50 menu and market items each week including ready to eat salads, sandwiches and soups. And there's something for everyone to enjoy with all recipes designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. Let me tell you what. I do not, okay, have the brain power to be creative when it comes to cooking. So when I tell you HelloFresh helps me out in a pinch, especially when it comes to the boys, because, you know, some people are like, oh, you could just uh, eat out. I have four kids. <laughs> that costs so much money. HelloFresh cuts that cost down completely, and the meals taste so good. I made this one pasta dish that was slapping. I would have never known to put these ingredients together to make this dish if it wasn't for HelloFresh. And then there was another meal. There was a chicken meal that I made. I wish I could remember what it was. Oh, it was so good. that even little Marcus was like, Mom. I like what you did. And I was mad that I couldn't say that I just came up with it on my own. I was like, boy, it was hello fresh. She was like, seems about right. Uh, <laughs> so this is what we would like for you to go to do. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB14. TBTB14. No, and use the code TBTB14. TBTB14. For up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. Okay, I'm going to tell you one more time. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB14 and use the code TBTB14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. And I just want you to know that HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. And we thank them for sponsoring this episode. Back to smashing. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) Now, um... (laughs) That was a great memory. That that so the way our anniversaries go is we always surprise each other. Um, me and Angel are natural. We just competitive people. So mm-hmm. that was the very first of the um, surprising. Like I, when was this? This was anniversary two, two three. or three, three anniversary three. three. Mm-hmm. All your anniversaries have been here. Yeah, well, we got married while we lived here. Yeah. So no the, so the first one we just went to the yard house. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. The second one, we went to San Diego because uh, my old roommate was having her bridal shower, and it was also our baby moon. And then the next year, we already had little Marcus, and that's when he surprised yeah. me with the trip to Palm Springs. Yeah, it was just Georgia. like, I came home from work, I was like, packed, for, warm, it's going to be hot, we going to hit the road in like two hours. Oh, so okay. then, And I was uh, crying already that day because I had just <laughs> tested for a pilot, and they had just told me that I didn't get it. It was between me and another person. I was just like, I don't understand <laughs> why this keeps happening. He was like, oh, come on, pack up your stuff, let's go. I was like, what? We're going somewhere? Funny story about Palm Springs. 
really quickly before we hear from Angel. This is when I learned not to take Melissa on a surprise vacation and pack for her. Do you remember this? <laughs> her dad helped me pay for vacation because we did not have no bread at this it time. It was desert, desert, whatever. Yes, desert yeah. palms or something like yeah, that. Something. Really nice hotel, but it was like three hundred dollars a night. I don't know. I was like, Papa D, I only have one night, plus gas and food. He covered the other two, three nights, I believe. Anyway, I packed what I thought was all her makeup, and it was just eyeshadows, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> just eyeshadows, and I packed all wedge heels <laughs> and thongs. Yeah, <laughs> that's all you need. I literally was like, this eyes, is <laughs> heels, and thongs. And a whole bunch of dresses. That's all re required. I'm talking about Tay. No <laughs> rhyme or reason. These things I like. These sandaly shoes uh -huh. with cork. Because <laughs> no, her brush. eyeshadows was in like a, almost like a makeup suitcase. Uh -huh. I was like, I'm sure there's plenty in here that'll do the trick. <laughs> when I tell you she got to that hotel, opened this up, and I'm talking about I had, we had a reservation at a steakhouse and this nice place. She was like, where's the rest of the makeup? And I was like, surely no that's all of, every, <laughs> what do you mean the rest? She was like, you just packed eyeshadows. And I was like, why you only have eyeshadows in that big old thing? <laughs> So we made a pact at that time to, if I wanted to surprise her, to give her the, um, uh, what do you call it? The temperature, like the, uh, mm -hmm. the weather, the, the weather of the place we're going and the and, dress code. And, and the dress code of the restaurant. So now when we, uh, now when we surprise each other, I actually go to the website of the restaurant mm -hmm. and see like yeah. cocktail dresses after five, whatever the case is. Um, and also by the grace of God, she already has her makeup pre-packed. If I were to pack for her, I know that here's what's necessary. Pre pack? Cool, yeah. That's why I haven't really been doing it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to just let her know what she needs. To know, so. It's a better enjoy the vacation than to be mad you didn't pack right. Because yeah. now she feels like she ain't dressed right for the event and it's my fault. Yeah, that, so that was like the first and we made a deal that we would try to visit somewhere different in California every year. Mm -hmm. So then the next year, Angel surprised me. And then, yeah, after that, I surprised her. So then it got competitive. Mm. And she broke the rules. Yes, I did. I bet. I bet. What were the rules? Way. What were the rules? We were supposed to have been in California. California. Oh, California only. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you went international. Uh, I was like, oh, well, not really. And we went to uh, Cabo. I was That's like, what you say? Well, you know, that clutch California. Right. That was like, it's right there. It's by high broke California. The rules. But at this point, it didn't matter because it was like, now we're just trying to one up each other uh -huh. every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> St. Thomas Heifer. That's oh, what we do. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah. Now you going over? Oh, just that's in the Atlantic. All out of spite. Yeah, when I'm like, <laughs> spite vacations are great. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, but it's, that's that's one of the things I I do like is we started this tradition. We've never seen or heard anything like it. Of, oh, it's Angel loves surprises. I don't. He hates it. I don't. I'm, I'm like, tell me, tell me a year in advance if you want to. Yeah, tell me right now, I'll be just as happy on that. Melissa, Melissa, you can spoil the end of a movie for her, and she won't not enjoy it. Don't it. matter. You she will enjoy it no movie. different. Mm -mm. Same with me. People are like, no, don't tell. Me. I'm like, tell me the end. Who dies? Yeah. No, she I'm and you like and you just surprised. enjoy it still. Yeah. Mm -mm. I want to be like. <gasps> uh huh. I'm never like it. <laughs> also, never figure movies out. Melissa be figuring it out. Who did it? I'm always like. like <gasps> I'd be mad when my brain does that. My brain is a little boy. We sit there and call it out like, that food done it. I'm like, see how nah. the camera pan? Like, you know what she didn't figure out though? Did y'all see Knives Out? No, yeah. I didn't figure that she one out. She didn't figure that one out. I would. I didn't figure Nobody in our house figured it out. I'm listening to the voice I think girls. you caught it, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was missing a piece, but I was like, I know I was like did one it. person. I was like, yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Speak on it, Angel. My that's favorite. Nice. Um, was when I think it was probably when I was pregnant with little Marcus. Me and Marcus used to just eat and eat. We both got so big, and what I loved yeah. about it, <laughs> I'm talking about I was in the gym heavy, so I was already diesel, and then I put on baby weight. And then, <laughs> we just got and then her friends was like, Who's which one of y'all's pregnant? I was like, You, Hey, you didn't expect that, did you? the wrong one right now. <laughs> it was just, we were just two little fat pigs in love. I mean, just, and I could eat Marcus under the table. You talk about, he eats a lot. 
I was like, hold my drink, Playboy. I mean, and it was because he stopped going to the gym to be at home with me. So that was like our time. It was sitting with our little TV trays. And- <laughs> I'm talking about both of us. Both of us. This is so funny. (laughs) Both of us hunched over the trays eating, watching, watching, uh, what was it, Burn Notice or something? I don't know. Uh Oh, yes. That's really, when we get a series that we are both into (laughs) and like it's our special time, oh, I love it. And I feel like when we were pregnant with little Marcus, that's what really started that time because I wasn't going out and he didn't want to. It started off dating, (laughs) underworld. But well, that was just a movie. <laughs> but like getting into series, but just yeah. really us both getting fat just blessed my heart. Cause he's not that is the funniest fat. thing you ever have said in your life. <laughs> <laughs> your best marriage memory. We had got fat this one time. <laughs> oh, it was so We were eating and watching TV for a couple of months. We both lost three years together. Listen, we <laughs> Alive. did. You would have thought Goldilocks had came to visit us because that's how we were mama bear, papa bear, just big and hairy, just together, in love. Oh, man. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> TV trays that up. is so funny to that's me. That's routine. You got food? Yeah, set the trays up. Mm-hmm. TV trays? Forks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, and I used to, remember, I, I, he'll never experience it again, but I'm glad he did get to experience it. I used to love making his lunch. And um, and oh, yeah. making his dinner. I used to love just cooking for him and like uh-huh. coming up with stuff. I would make him these burgers that just had so Sorry. much stuff in them. <laughs> it was just so many stuffed things. Stuffed burgers? Yeah, they were kind of like stuffed burgers. Mm. And it was just a lot of things that would be going on these, in the burger. She had this sandwich maker. And I said, you don't need to do all that. No, I'm, you going this to work. This is lunch. I'm going to fix you lunch. You ain't got to do all that. Yeah, I'm going to fix you lunch. So it would be a slice of bread. Whatever meat, lettuce, tomato, cheese, all of this, and then you put the bread on top and you put it in the hot I iron and like melt it together, QVC. right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't need all of that. So she got a point; she didn't want to do it no more. She was like, Oh, you can just take a ham sandwich. Heifer, you ain't about to take me <laughs> from no gourmet sandwich to no eat no cold. Sam said, you lost your mind? I used to go and find really nice bread. <laughs> Daddy told I, her. He, he said, you know you're going to spoil that boy. I did. I, I loved it. Hey, I just, it. Just to offer you a ham sandwich? I was a ham sandwich. Yeah, some bread. Get some takes of meat. <laughs> takes of meat? You take some meat. Take his meat. You ain't going to send me to work with no goddamn ham and two pieces of bread. <laughs> you done set me up for a yeah. different world. Yeah, he was. I was just like, I, but I don't have time. So <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah, with your time. Oh yeah, I used to get the ciabatta bread that had like cheese and like uh, jalapenos in it, and then like warm up some chicken and shredded and stuff. I used to love doing that. I ain't doing that. What? Before. Why you stop? I did not know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to. The do thrill it. was gone, Kev. It was. It was fun while it lasted. I don't want. I don't want it. No. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Speaking of food, though, one of my favorite memories, Melissa and I went to Paris the first time. Where's Paris? Oh, it's... Oh, oh. <laughs> I wasn't even going to do it this time. I know. That's it's a country like... in France, Europe. Oh, okay. Across the Atlantic Ocean. It's a whole thing. <laughs> we went, and I don't know how we found this. Well, we went to the Eiffel Tower. Melissa had this red dress on. I still have this picture saved to my phone. We had a little French night cruise dinner. She had this red dress on. Look beautiful. I saved this picture in my phone. But during that trip, we went to this uh, French restaurant. And the food was cool. But they made this apple tart that is literally the best dessert I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. When we went back to Paris, Melissa and I went through our credit card statements from a year or two years prior to to find them. Because the restaurant's not big online. We just were walking by, right? Just walking by in this little restaurant. Probably not really much bigger than this studio. Literally maybe eight tables. The dude just cooks for love. He don't really make no whole bunch, doesn't really care to make a whole bunch of money or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So we went back two years later and the dog on the same, same three people working. Same lady at the door, mm-hmm. same sous, sous chef, mm-hmm. same regular chef, same six people in the restaurant. And I was like, this is the best dessert in the world again. And then we went to Rome, Italy, and... Um, do too. We went to some random restaurant, and this dude who owned the restaurant offered us cheese from his own like farm, <laughs> cheese and Roman tomatoes, and I don't even like tomatoes like that. And then we had caprese salad with fresh mozzarella, and I realized what I don't like. I never had Roman tomatoes. 
Yeah, when you eat fresh tomatoes from the people who do it the best, it don't even taste like an American tomato. He was all like, see you Americans, y'all got tomatoes real round. That's why y'all don't like stuff, because it ain't supposed to be year round. It's supposed to be seasonal. And when you have it in the season, then it be good. I'm like, man, shut up. I'm just giving it to you. <laughs> like, and let it pump us, too. This when we were early into drinking wine, and we ordered Moscato at the beginning of our meal. And she was like, Americans, no. She was and she gave us like some red wine that was really good, but she really didn't let us get dessert wine at the beginning. We were like, girl, but we're paying for this. Why, are you, why would you tell us no? Oh, uh, because I can. That's why. Because y'all was wrong. And she just, I mean, she's the one who fills it up, so you really can't argue with the person who brings the wine to you. So now, it was great. Now, we weren't married at this time, but mm. one of my favorite memories, hands down. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, this is oh, with, the no, he was, uh, he still lived in Kentucky. This was when we first started dating. I, uh, flew him out here. He got flewed out. Flew it out, booed out. And, um, I took him down to Mexico and we had this really nice dinner and it didn't cost no money. I think that dinner $10. cost $10. And it I was, remember. Literally? Uh-huh. Literally. It was For both these, our meals. It was on, uh, Halloween, was it Halloween? Yeah, it was Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. We were rooftop. We had the beach right beside us. We got to see the sunset. They gave us shots Aww. of tequila. Dang, they had they these huge out shrimp. Out. These shrimp, I kid you not, were the size of these. <laughs> they were huge. <laughs> they were massive. They were like baby lobsters. <laughs> I mean, I've never, I, see, I took a picture of one. It was like the size of the palm of my hand. Really? I've never had shrimp that big. And it was wow. delicious. Wow. And uh, we had grilled vegetables. It was, the, the whole meal was great. And then, this is what, the yard house will forever hold a special place yeah. in our heart. I worked at the yard house, so I already knew the menu. And I was like, this food is good. We ain't got nothing like this in Kentucky. So I was like, I'm going to take you to the restaurant, <laughs> yard house. <laughs> and I'm going to take you That was the fancy place? It was our fancy place. It was definitely a step up from Red Lobster, but not at the same time. Because it's also like a sports bar. Right. But it felt very oh, fancy. Oh, yeah, that- <laughs> Your that's, why, that's, so that's, that's why I wear my loafers with no socks. You know, that's yeah, why I take it. That's crazy. You know, you get, yeah. Your yeah. house definitely gives them loafers with no oh, socks. Absolutely. 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 And this is, their menu has changed, but they used to have Drastically. it. Drastically. We, yeah. uh, we have an affinity for shrimp, if you cannot tell. We love shrimp. Yeah, my lips are swollen. I'm still eating it. So, <laughs> they had this jumbo shrimp platter with uh, the shrimp were skewered on like, I don't know what they were, like, it wasn't bamboo, but it was something. And then this really great rice or whatever. Artichoke and dip. What was artichoke dip? That was the thing that we used to get the artichoke with We the would dip. get the artichoke dip. And then we would get this, because you brought up dessert, which made me th- yeah. think about the it. Chocolate souffle. The chocolate souffle. Oh, my God. Down at the yard house. Down at the yard Elegance house. Elegance personified. Oh, my God. At the yard God. house. We used to tear off into that. The yard house, house that has the big beer. Yeah. Yes. The, 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 yard, the yard beer. They talking about yard house, yard house. Yes. 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 They're from yeah. Kentucky. Oh, yeah, it was special. <laughs> they had a beer that I actually like that tastes more like a wine. It, it tastes like Let you have a wine. very robust beer. Yes. Let them in from, uh, from wine. They serve it to you in a wine glass. That's how much it tastes like a wine. And I was just like, oh, it was just such a lovely trip. Yeah. I felt we, like I really <laughs> wined and dined this man. Was how do you fly back to Kentucky after that, Tony? Hey, it was hard. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you what I did before I went back. <laughs> now, we went back uh, years later to get that same dessert, and we were so pissed at y'all. They <laughs> took it off? It was like, this is why you're going out of business. They're not. But it was awful. It was like they small. Messed up. They changed their lettuce wrap. It taste the same. Too. Or their chicken lettuce wrap. They yeah. changed from real chicken to some diced up crap. We weren't having sex yet. Why are you over no, here trying we to lie? But hey. <laughs> There was a whole lot of others going on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was plenty of sloppy toppy and yeah, both ways. <laughs> you didn't get flewed out to pray. Hey. I know you ain't come out here for Bible study. No, it was Why church people just think if it ain't P and G, it ain't sex. I know. You had my penis in your mouth. That yeah. don't, that don't, you ain't my coochie in my butt. Hey, That's dope, but I, I don't love it. I didn't cross the barrier. I didn't go in. I didn't go in. Yeah, it makes that, was that, was, that was I was like, whatever she want. Long yeah. like, <laughs> they got to have like, it in their mind. That, you know, got to mm-hmm. hit and go in. Still had to change the sheets. You were turned over. Oh <laughs> you said, oh my God, and it wasn't praise and worship. Yeah. It doesn't count. Don't matter. 
But my coochie is, is protected. It is. It's no baby. Church girls baby. always think that. God is up here like, y'all, it's semantics. That's what they told us to think. So don't tell us that we can't think it. You're always over here wasting time. He God probably like, y'all should have just did the whole thing. the whole time. No. He's giving a Fame handy under. over here wrinkled like they've been in water too long. <laughs> to the west to go down south. Ah! Yeah. Go right. That's why he got flew down. That's why hey. he got his ticket. Hey, let me tell you. I he did a good job in Kentucky. Yeah. Hey. I'm weird. trying to tell you. <laughs> Skillful. Oh I ain't ashamed of it. <laughs> 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 Church kids is like, man, I'm saved, right? Huh? No, I know. Still? Ain't it good, God? That's the way they make you feel. Like, just mm -hmm. don't. God, like, look at these fools. <laughs> just don't do this. I didn't rob the whole bank. Yeah. It was just one teller. <laughs> Yeah, the good. whole tellers were every, everybody. I didn't even go into the vault. We no. just don't. I didn't go in the vault. It was like, just the drawer. Yeah. But like your face was wet though, boy. What do you mean? <laughs> you, Girl, you got it on your face. You let do what? You actually are closer <laughs> now. If you would have used a penis, you'd at least be further away. Oh my God. You got sin on your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Another memory, Mrs. Fredericks. Um, I, 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 no. <laughs> she said, my You don't brain, have to go down that one. My brain. Don't my be brain my Marcus Lissa. My brain is shut what? down. What? Marcus said sex, Angel said food. <laughs> you said sex too. You started yeah. with you said sex I did. Food. <laughs> it's me the whole I time. Did. I'm the villain in the history book. Scooby Doo, it's at the end, it was me the whole time. That's hilarious. Oh, you, you know what? Me and Marcus also used to really love. The ER parties, when like rap parties, ER? yeah, yes. oh, parties. holiday parties, mm -hmm. all of the parties. They them had part, parties. Yeah, them parties was ridiculous. I used to love them because Angel, do? well, she was there long Let's enough to where that. I knew people. <laughs> so they'd be like, "Oh, Marcus, I didn't need Angel." I'm like, "Hey, I just yeah, go yeah, yeah. mingle with everybody." They were so cool, but that was just fun. It would. They would always have really good music. Yeah, they would music. have an uh, extremely things. open bar. Mm -hmm. So you would was, just whatever you doing it. <laughs> she said, "Wait a minute, we're not doing that." Right. I have to draw the line. You remind there. me of, of a special memory. We, I was t directing a pilot on my birthday. It was the first surprise party Melissa did, and she came up on set and had uh, cake and balloons. Mm -hmm. She had a whole vlog about it and everything. She I surprised me on set, and that started off our like great parties. Mm -hmm. Then I had a '90s party. Kanisha just sent me a, like a reel, basically of it. It was fantastic. Why does she still have footage of it? She's just talking about how fun it was. Oh. That was 2017. Kanisha who, Buster? Mm -hmm. Oh, she, she said that's why I didn't leave Kev's party. And it was just all, it was like a reel before a reel. It was fantastic. And then obviously the you know, NACP party where I cried and people made memes of me. I mean, they you were cried all, hard for I that. cried hard. You ugly cried. Oh, all right. You almost got a tear out of me. Oh, get back I in said, here, yeah. tear. I said, shut up, boy. <laughs> Those were all great. Ooh. That's the thing about marriage. It's more more good than bad. Oh, what well, much more good than bad? Absolutely. Nine to one. Uh, nine to one. Okay. Okay. That's good, right? Yeah, nine yeah. to one is good. Out of ten? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say eight to two, but yeah, nine to one. Yeah. That's a good ratio. Nine to one. Yeah, I think so. Cause that's one thing I'll tell y'all what I don't want to do. Be out in the world dating. I thought you man. were about to transition to an ad. That's what it like, sounded like. We're I was out. like, we're, we're done. There's no right. more. All right. I see these stories of people. See, y'all know like, how it feels, man. Huh? Yeah. yeah. But we stopped talking. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Shut That's up. the difference. Shut your people mouth. People just be having to meet new people <laughs> online man, and I swipe. Be, I be hearing these stories. I'm Stop like, it. I have a dating show. I'm trying to get people to apply for it. No, I'm, the people. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about after being married 21 years or yeah. being together 21 years. Yes, but apply for my show. Go to Melissa's show, man. But how elite of you to swipe right on somebody? Who do you think you better than me you just you swipe that. a picture away you just think you're just elite could have been a bad picture i definitely people love the do need help. sorry go ahead people do need help choosing the pictures for dating profiles yes people i've learned that through this through this mm -hmm. process no i agree Continue. with you that's not it's not a um uh, it's not a skill set that most people be um uh, knowing mm -hmm. like i think because we be taking pictures for a living we kind of know, like, this makes me look better than this. Even Marcus, I have to be like, he's about to get better at his picture taking. He loves a good, uh, what do I call it? pensive look. I don't, mean, I don't know what that means. It's just weird like when you're looking like at the camera and smile. Thought. And ain't nothing to smile about. Mm -hmm. Melissa has, smile. She has it down. 
I don't. don't. I you do though. Mm -hmm. On your no, yeah. Hush. Most y'all women be having it. Your you. pictures, your she pictures did. since you decided I'm gonna be an influencer, have been fire. You I know, be standing next to you like. This is my life. <laughs> I smiley boy. Yeah, you know what? I, you know how they give options? Like, somebody could stand right here, right now, start taking pictures of us. Like, all right, pictures. Me and Kev will look like two statues, and these fools would just be moving. I mean. If you were to, like, flip through them real fast. Yes. Like, <sighs> but this is a whole photo shoot in Phoenix, Tank. I hired a Phoenix and they photographer. Were fire. I mean, and it took, like, 30 minutes. They were fire. Four and different outfits. Listen. Oh, we did those at Finney's. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was her and Joshua. That was me and Joshua. That was, I said, did she just do that? Mm -hmm. I did Arizona? that in the over and Finney. Uh, the day we were supposed to meet with y'all. Or the day. It, it was, was the, the day. day before. Because she said, guess what we're, we're on our way to. And we said, we're already here. No, but Joshua left. So it was the day before. It was like two or three days before. But because, Joshua came back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, we I'm did ours. Now. Was yeah. that the day we were stuck in line yes, all the time? and then you were like, guess where I'm we're at Finney's Heads Green oh. Drinks. And I was like, oh, we just wanted oh. to go there. That's right, before. that's right. Yeah. That was a whole situation. That whole time. situation. Oh, sitch. You had to be there. Um, but yeah, you are really good at uh I have taking. really great photographers who give direction. I'm not, I'm not good at I can take direction, but I now know that uh Kelly, she gives direction. Play with your ear, look down. Did someone but call you? Do you do this? And I'm just like, Yes. And so she takes them. No, no, she no, didn't no. do that the last time I was But listen, but you listen, should. listen, you can't even that still means that you take really good photos because there are people who cannot I'm take, take listen, I will take that, but I'm just saying that it is based on direct I'm when you were saying and people just be moving, I just be all thirty two teeth, that's all I got. <laughs> That's it. I'm just smiling. She's 32. Like, I ain't That's it. You nothing else. But if hey, the person standing there is like, look down, look in your purse. No, Did you call somebody? Would, Did some, someone say something? Like, say hi to here's them. Here's what I disagree with. You I on. do that. Okay, I'm not going. But listen, listen, right. listen. Yeah, whatever Pose y'all wanted to be. Well, now listen. Say yes. Liz, you're great. Now Pose shut up and right, accept child. it. Pose wise, maybe. <laughs> but your eyes. I feel like nobody can tell you how to make your eyes look like that. Your eyes be looking sexy, right, excited too. And yeah, like, like turn this way, answer the phone. I get that, but something about the eye, like I'm Tyra Banks say says, yes. a smile. She I'm said, "You're yes. not about to be me." You got <laughs> blue still, girl. Child, yes, correct. Cause this is me, Marcus. Give character. That's it. That's all my baby got, and I'm gonna stick beside him. <laughs> oh, you want me to switch? <laughs> I'm gonna stick beside him. <laughs> I be like Marcus. That is how you be looking at your pictures <laughs> all the time. I be like, baby, life is good. Yeah. And he'd be like, all right. Because ain't going to give good direction. See, I, I need direction. That, I'm trying Get to tell Kelly. you. Honestly, Kelly I'm is a good at that. I'm, I tell you that it makes a world of difference. Having someone, even the girl <laughs> that I took the pictures with in um, Phoenix, she, she gave did. a lot of direction. She did. I, and I, also. Oh, she... I actually, when if I'm interviewing you as a photographer, I will ask you, do you give direction? Because most photographers don't feel comfortable doing that. And I know that's something I need. Mm. That's true. That that part is true, and that girl in Phoenix, she was, he, her job is to take pictures of influencers. Oh, and you athletes. found an influencer Listen, photographer. He, my uh, agent did, but she was phenomenal. She's shooting reels in real time. Yeah, I like. Like her. sitting Lisa a reel before the pictures, already edited. I loved her. Yeah, that, it was. It was. I was like, this is she a coming whole. Coming out here. I told her. I said, girl, when you come in, text me. Uh -huh. Let's make this a thing. Jesus, yeah. he need that too. Hey. She, I really Desperate. enjoyed it. She was, uh, I will tell you guys when she comes out here, she does trips. She's only in Arizona, so she does trips every now and again. Mm -hmm. But I was like, girl, come, tell me when. When you coming, when you coming, man. Mm -hmm. And she's very, like, artsy. Mm -hmm. Like, stand at the door and do this. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> it was a thousand degrees in Arizona, too, which is amazing. Oh, you I, yeah, your sweaty video. I was, I was literally like, outside for three minutes. Yeah. No, no lie. Yeah. Yeah. It was, the, there is, the sun is closer there. Uh -huh. The sun is closer to the ground in Arizona. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, the boys wanted to go swimming. Melissa was like, no, not until nine o'clock. It was, not, it was a hundred degrees at nine, at the dark. Movie. The one uh, yeah. time I was in Arizona, we were moving out here. Yep, he was moving him out. We was in the big truck, pulled up to the gas station. Mm -hmm. You know, it has a canopy over it. Mm -hmm. Got out of the truck. I'm like, dang, it's hot. It's in the shade. I walk around the truck to the gas tank. Stepped out into the sun, felt like a goddamn vampire. <laughs> the sun stung my arms. I was like, like, "What is that?" It feels like you're cooking. Yeah, <gasps> I said that. I told Kevin, "I feel like maybe I should be a vegetarian because 
I was like, is this how it feels to be cooked? <laughs> Worse. <laughs> okay. First of all, you probably won't feel it. Uh, <laughs> my, my earring was hot, the back of my ear, I mean, my arm was hot. I, I went to like, open I the hotel door. I literally feel like door. I am baking. We had a metal door leading outside the hotel room. I burnt my arm. Yeah, why did y'all go to such a hot place in doing a hot Man, time this I resort when I found it was I beautiful. I just wanted to go to a I, resort. I yeah. didn't factor in how hot it would be in Phoenix in July. It was 100 degrees in yeah, Seattle like this weekend. 109 in Renton. Did you just call me Angela? No. Yeah. I did it. It's fine. It's okay. I didn't say Angela. That's what it sounded like. Roll the tape back. Roll it back. Okay. And zoom in. Um, that's one of those stat like I have that. Nine and rented. Oh, and this resort once I found was beautiful. I, I didn't factor in how hot it would be in Phoenix in July. It was 100 degrees. Oh, I was going to say in July. I was saying in July. How oh. hot it would be in Phoenix in July. I was like, ah. wait, say it. I was going to say how hot it would be in Phoenix in July. It was 100 Oh, in July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And also, it's not July yet, but that's what I was saying. I was like, well, our best um, friend. I got I got <laughs> <laughs> I know Angela's just it burns my skin <laughs> like, like the sun. But what, you, so what did you do for me lately? That's what she I got. mean, you, they said Shaka Khan wasn't in a great mood, and I was like, well. I mean, you did make it happen. I, but Angela, calling me Angela, that'll, that'll, that'll. Did that happen a lot in your life? Oh yeah. Yeah, she hates it. Hate that name. Really? Mm. That's what I call oh, ER. Oh, I, feel I, like I, I won't do things that. on purpose. ER is like a funny thing because I know it does. I don't do things that like bother me <laughs> for real. It's just so interesting because it's it's so close to your name. It's but it's not. Because she gets she gets it it's so much. And she's mm. probably gotten it her whole life. Oh, it's mm. so, yes. People who should know my name. Call you Angela. Oh my God, I get <laughs> influencer links like the, the trackable, traceable links that they tell you to mm -hmm. use. It'll be like Angela Moore, and I'll be like, I don't even want this brand deal no that more. That chick Angela. <laughs> I don't even I want don't this even brand want deal this no more. Anymore. Keep it's your money. Get out of my face. Climate change is what happened, by the way. Oh. Well, guys, oh. that's the sign that this episode <laughs> of The Bald and the Beautiful is now over. And Yay! Tell us your favorite memories. Yay. Happy anniversary Yay. to the Fredericks. Absolutely. Happy soon-to-be anniversary to you too, babe. You all know Thank what to you. do. Subscribe, like, and share. And check out our sponsors, HelloFresh. Till next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Y'all going, fam. That chick angel